wrestling fans, it officially is WrestleMania week, and leading into the weekend, you do have Stand and Deliver. Stand and Deliver is going to be NXT's biggest pay-per-view this year. So far, they have tons of great action planned in store. Ava has done extremely well in getting us here. With that being said, our first match is Joe Gacy versus Sean Spears. Now, of course, we all know that they were both in contention to go up against Oba Femi for that North American Championship. And Joe Gacy kind of ruined that for Sean Spears. And then last week, we seen Sean Spears attack Joe Gacy with a chair as he was making his entrance, which cost him the match with Oba Femi. So these two going head to head here. We know Sean Spears has been back trying to open people's minds back up to who they truly are. We've seen Ridge Holland actually step away due to that. So I think this one is going to be a wild opener on the countdown to stand and deliver. I think we're going to see Sean Spears actually get his first PLE win from coming back. Next, you do have a six woman tag match Thea Hale, Kalani Jordan, Fallon Henley versus JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dame. We've seen this building up. Of course, Thea Hale was with JC Jane as she was trying to rebuild Chase U. And we've seen the fallout of that starting to happen uh, throughout the weeks, especially once the calendar came out. Thea Hale started getting some insight and help from Fallon Henley. And that just changed the whole course of how Stacey Jane and Kiana James were trying to help her. And now, of course, where we're at now, we've seen last week they all butted heads, got into it. And Ava gave us a six-woman tag match. I think for Thea Hale and Fallon Henley to finally get the momentum they need, they have to take this match here. But I'm not seeing that happen. I think JC Jane and her new faction that she is building will take the win in the six woman tag team match. You got the NXT Tag Team Champions, Bond Breaker and Baron Corbin, going up against Axiom and Nathan Frazier. So we have seen Axiom and Nathan Frazier run the gauntlet, the tournament through NXT over the past couple of weeks and they got a big win in the triple threat tag team finals on NXT uh, so they did qualify to go up against Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin now Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin have not defended since they won but we have seen them in action against the Alpha Academy so we know that they are still going to be used to a lot of high flying Action with Nathan Fraser and Axiom, that's the key to this match for them. Their speed and their agility. But I do not see them taking the titles from Bond Breaker and Baron Corbin unless they have something else planned. If you want to look at it from a call up situation where Baron Corbin could be moved up since Bond Breaker already is. If that's the case, Axiom and Nathan Fraser win. If it's not the case, if they're going to let Baron and Braun at least stay for a few more weeks, then I would say the uh, Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin win, the Wolf Dogs. But give me Axiom and Nathan Fraser truly to upset and take the Tag Team Championships off of the Wolf Dogs. You got the North American championship triple threat between Oba Femi, Dijak, and Josh Briggs. We have seen Oba Femi come in and be absolutely dominant since he arrived there on NXT, taking the title off of Dragon Lee when he cashed in his contract. So if Oba Femi can just be dominant the whole match, you would think this would be a cakewalk for him. But you're going up against Dijak. You're going up against Josh Briggs. And both of these are powerhouses 
in their own rights on NXT as well. But all actuality, all looking over this, this is going to be a great opportunity for Oberfemi to actually show what he is capable of truly when it comes to competition in NXT. We know he's dominant. We know he could do this on the main roster probably already just because of the ability he has shown. But I think this is time for Josh Briggs to really show out. And if anyone's going to take this title in the triple threat, I think it's going to be Briggs. I think it'll be a huge momentum push for him. It will push his NXT career forward a lot faster. And it also gives us the opportunity for them to probably go ahead and pull Dijak and Oba to the main roster if needed. But yet again, I don't know if Oba Femi is ready to drop the title. But I'm going to take Josh Briggs to upset this one and win the NXT North American Championship. A women's NXT Championship match between Lyra Valkyria and Roxanne Perez. Uh, we are seeing a darker, more heel side of Roxanne going into this match. Uh, she has cut all ties with people who had helped her in the past. She has made sure to make it known that she's going to do whatever she can to win her NXT Women's Championship that she states she has never truly lost. Of course, we know that she did, of course, have that incident where she lost consciousness and had to have the, move, the title removed from her due to that. Um, we've seen her try to get a get it back in a ladder match. Uh, but, of course, we all know Indy Hartwell got it there. Uh, she also almost had it at Vengeance Day. But she, uh, she got interrupted by Lola Vice. So, she's not happy with where she's at in getting her title back. Uh, Lyra Valkyrie, on the other hand, took the title away from Becky Lynch. And has been a fighting, defending women's champion. So with that being said, I think that we're going to see Roxanne Perez get her title back and become the new NXT Women's Champion. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, and the Don of NXT, Tony D'Angelo, go one-on-one -on -one for the NXT Men's World Championship. This build-up has been fantastic. The story that they put in it with Tony D'Angelo and his mob mentality being the Don of NXT has been great. I think it's time for Tony D to get a title besides the tag teams that he did get with Stax. I do believe that he has that ability. He could run it. And I do believe it's time for Ilya Dragunov to be moved to the main roster and get his taste of what Monday or Friday nights can be for him. So I am going to say the family will get gold once again and Tony D'Angelo will get the NXT Championship. Our main event of Stand and Deliver Trick Williams going up against Carmelo Hayes. Two best friends turn bitter rivals due to Carmelo Hayes taking out Trick's knee back at Vengeance Day. It has been chaos ever since. These two are going to burn down the show. Trick Miller gang was a huge thing for them. Of course, Hayes. At the North American Championship twice. NXT Championship. Trick did get the North American Championship there a little while from Dirty Dom. But they have been building each other up for the better part of three years. And just having this come to a head at the biggest event for NXT. Having it be the main event. This could captivate and push trick williams's career forwards and then this could give us the leg to put carmelo on the main roster because if trick williams whoop that trick can beat carmelo hayes he could take over as the him role 
per se, on NXT and Carmelo could come up to the main roster. And I think that's what we may see happen here. So, I will put all of uh, the bets on Trick William to come out victorious in the main event of Stand and Deliver. Now, with that being said, everybody, that is our Stand and Deliver predictions. We, of course, as always, would be glad for you to put your predictions in the comments. Let us know who you think is going to win. Let us know who should win and why. And, of course, if you are into wrestling content, be sure to always hit that plus. Join the Kraken Wrestling community as we continue to post wrestling content and hang out with y'all on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. And when there are PLEs, as always, the Kraken is over and out.